Chapter 1.3, Video 1 Slope Fields Consider a differential equation of the form derivative of y respect to x equals to a function f depends on x and y. Integration does not work. The reason being that even though we have a derivative on the left hand side, on the right hand side we have expressions in terms of x but also of y. If you recall, we can only integrate if the expression on the right only contains x and constants. In fact, differential equations of this type are really hard, even for simple values of f. For example, if we have dy over dx equals x squared plus y squared, this differential equation is really hard and beyond the scope of this course to solve. In fact, it's even beyond the scope of this course to write down the solution. So we'll need to find another way. This is the concept that we're going to introduce in this chapter, slope fields. There are a way to find approximate solutions of a differential equation. Recall that in calculus we learned that the derivative of y is related to the slope of a curve. We can then plot the slopes dy dx equals fxy and guess a solution from there. Now let me just recap on what it means to have a slope of a certain value. So if dy dx has slope 1, for instance, this means that at the point in the curve we care about, the rise over the run of the slope is equal to 1. Now similarly, if we have dy over dx equals minus 2, say, then we know that the rise over the run is equal to minus 2. And remember that positive slope, positive derivative, is related to increasing slope, a, th a function that slopes upwards, and a negative derivative corresponds to a decreasing slope. Let's go through an example. Let us look at the differential equation y prime equals x plus y. So clearly, once we know x and y, we know what the value of y prime is. So let's draw a little table. So we considered x values 
running from minus 3 to positive 3, we consider y values the same thing, uh, from positive 3 to negative 3. Now when x is minus 3 and y is plus 3, clearly the value of y prime is 0. So we'll just put a 0 in this spot here. When x is minus 2 and y is pos positive 3, we get a value of positive 1 for the derivative, and so on. If x is 1 and y is 3, sorry, x is minus 1 and y is 3, we get a value of 2 for the derivative. I'll fill out the rest of this table off screen, but you get the idea. And there you go. We can also represent this information visually in the form of a slope field. So let's draw an x-axis and a y-axis. One, two, three, minus one, minus two, minus three. One, two, three, minus one, minus two, minus three. So when x is zero and y is zero, we have a slope of zero which refers to a simply flat line. If x is 1 and y is 0, we have an upward curve. When x is 2 and y is 0, we get an upward curve of slope 2, so slightly steeper. And if x is 3 and y is 0, we have an upward curve of slope 3, which is steeper still. When x is minus 1 and y is 0, we get a downward curve of slope 1. When x is minus 2 and y is 0, we get a steeper downward curve. And when x is minus 3 and y is 0, we get an even steeper downward curve. And we can fill out the whole graph this way. And this is our slope curve. And given an initial condition, this allows us to guess what the solution must look like. For instance, if our initial value problem for this differential equation had initial condition at this point here, minus 1, 0, we can see that the solution curve has to be sort of this straight line following the little slope, slope lines. Whereas if we were had an initial condition at say this point 2 2 we can tell that our slope field has to go like this